Okay. Picture yourself with a hefty bank account, the ability to obtain anything you get anything you want on demand, and having millions of loyal, adorable supporters, but not having privacy and having the whole world judge you. Yes, you guessed it. I'm talking about being famous. How many of you guys know Kim Kardashian? Mm -hmm. Okay. She's a salesperson, a business person, an entrepreneur, entrepreneur, a model, actress, etc. And she is the ideal celebrity. She has a hefty bank account. She has the ability to get almost anything she wants when she wants it. And she has all these supporters. Today, I'd like to tell you why, or give you reasons why, we should all keep up with Kardashians. Uh, Kim Kardashian stars in a reality TV show called Keep Up with Kardashians. And it has nine other stars. Her sisters, Courtney, Chloe, Bruce, Chris, Kendall, uh, Kylie, and then their stepdad, or Rob, the other brother. So the valuable lessons learned from keeping your production include keeping it real, building on your own, uh, building your, on your own success, um, turning your misfortunes into assets, and embracing yourself. So the main reason why I think the Kardashians are so popular and known everywhere is because of their ability to um, relate to real issues and real people. This uh, makes Americans just know it's over them. For example, Courtney and Scott's problems are all over the TV shows. And with the relationships, the struggles, and everything, even the sisters' relationships between them, Courtney, Kim, and Chloe, it's their, how they argue, it's what they like, they don't like, everything is in the show. So I feel like that gives enables them to be real with us and us connect with them on a different level. The other point is embracing yourself. As you guys may know, two years ago, the idea of beauty was a fair skin Caucasian with a thin waist, tall, tall skin. Kim Kardashian is none of that. She's uh, Armenian. She has big hips, and I guess she's big everywhere. And, um, <laughs> She is, she, her expressing herself and embracing herself gave us a new look on beauty. Her and her sisters, Khloe Kardashian has been talked about, as you know, from all the time TV shows, news reports, and things, I think like she's bigger, but she embraces herself and makes other girls feel like they should be who they are and love themselves for who they are. The third lesson to learn from Kim Young Kardashians is really on your own success. Yes, we know Kim may have become famous because of sex tape in 2007, but she didn't stop there. From there, she did photo shoots, she built her own name, she had perfumes, designs, everything you can, everything you can think of. Uh, according to HollywoodLife.com, the Kardashians received a $10 million check just for the show, but that not only included their clothing line, hair care products, and even their mother's sock line. So there, the ten million dollars for the show is not including everything else they have going for them. And the fourth point I want to talk about today is um, turning a misfortune into an asset. Of course, everyone knows about the sex tape, but in an interview in 2007, Kim shared with us that she was introduced to the world by that, but had to work ten times harder just to see herself, but the world see the real her, with photo shoots, endorsements, and etc. Cetera, et cetera. Um, another thing that the Kardashians has taught us is to never give up and to never settle for less. Don't have that mentality of this is good enough. Think about Bill Gates. He is one of the most wealthiest men, or not only wealthiest men in the world. Uh, Forbes written, said he's worth $18.1 billion. He doesn't just sit around and sell his money all day. What does he do? He makes more money. So that Kardashian, Kardashians have a similar drive as he. In conclusion, I may not agree with a lot of what Kardashian does. I don't like the relationship that Chloe has with her mom, how she talks to her. But nonetheless, there are some valuable lessons that can be learned. Embracing yourself, being who you are, and loving yourself, um, building, your own, building on your own success, and never stopping, striving as far as reaching all your goals, and um, keeping it real. Honest, being honest, keeping it real, telling people how it is. Uh, and that's why I think we should keep the production because it's valuable lessons learned and reality to me.
Marissa, are you here? She's not Marissa. Missing All right. Well, then I will just offer my opinions. Just hang on a second here. Okay, I like the uh, illustration that you have at the beginning, that vivid uh, image that you're trying to get us going with, and you've got a very clear statement of your purpose, which I thought was cleverly phrased, and I appreciated that. Uh, it sounds to me like you have a good um, preview of what the structure is going to be, at, you know, the lessons that we can learn from the Kardashians. I, that sounds to me like it's a, a reasonable way to proceed. Uh, I did think, however, in the body of the speech that those lessons are often a little skimpy in what you present. You give us a conclusion without giving us enough information about what we learned from that. So I, I like the idea of some of the lessons. For instance, the thing about changing the way people might see what is attractive. Uh, but all it comes down to is you describe how you know, uh, the one girl is got uh, a large derriere and the other one is apparently just big, but she's embracing her bigness. Well, is that having an impact on anybody else? Is there, is there uh, a cult that uh, worships at the, uh, you know, the, the size of the Kardashians? Has it changed? Have people's attitudes been altered in any way? Can you see illustrations other than the show that you mentioned, for example, are these people featured or, um, ex I don't want to say exploited, but found in other social media that, you know, now embrace them, you know, something to illustrate that this is indeed really going on as opposed to just kind of your conclusion or maybe their belief that that is what's going on and that you're repeating. I think we need to see some evidence that that's going on. The same sort of thing, on some of the other points, uh, uh, you know, you, you have one point that talks about their success and you mentioned the money that they got and that's about all that I get on this. So what are we supposed to learn from that? Uh, you know, make a sex tape, get a big ass and we'll get a check. That's not really the point that you're talking about. I, I like the idea that you had at the end where you say, take a negative and turn it into a positive and here's something that was unfortunate that happened and how did they manage to turn this into something that works? Well, uh, first of all, they you know, don't deny it, they embrace it. Uh, they take that sort of thing and they use the notoriety that comes from it. How could, how could you, know, you know, what, how can we develop a lesson from those experiences? I think there needs to be more of an explanation. You just have kind of the label on that. And so that's the kind of thing that's missing in most of the speech. I think you've got the bare bones of a good argument here, and it needs to have, as they say, some meat on it. It needs to be more full-figured, apparently, like Chloe. <laughs> Is it Chloe? Is she the full-figured one? Yeah? OK, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, uh, Kim is the only one I would recognize, and I would only recognize her from behind. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think that you need to project your voice a little bit more at the beginning, and you kind of, it may, maybe it sounds different, maybe I wasn't quite ready to listen, but when you listen back to your video, it sounded to me almost like you stepped on the identification of your topic. I mean, once you got going, I knew what you were talking about, but it, you set up this great visualization, and then you kind of mumble, mumbled what the topic was, and it needs to be, I think, a little bit more forceful, and I think your energy level could be up a little bit more also. So uh, you've got a good idea. Um, it needs to be developed a lot more. And uh, the presentation, I didn't see any major flaws, just some things to improve. And of course, it's, you can tell it's a little thin because it's under five. All right. Thank you.